Thanks for staying with us. So several houses in the and rustic Okwama community in Bomadi, local government of Delta State, were on fire. Hmm? Af hours after 16 military personnel on a peacekeeping mission were killed, according to reports comprising of a lieutenant colonel, two majors, one captain, and 12 soldiers were killed by the youths. The unfortunate incident occurred when the troops responded to a distress call after the communal crisis between the Okwama and the Okuloba communities, both in Delta State. Um, since the reports we've heard from the president who has expressed um, his heartfelt uh, um, condolences to the families of, the, of, of, of those who have de departed and who have served our nation with all their hearts and might, and he has also given the, um, the military the full hand to fish out the perpetrators of this and bring them to book. But what are your thoughts on this? This is such a painful update, especially because these, um, these men, these soldiers, were responding to a distress call, in that, in distress call from that community. And these are our last line of defense. These are the people that defend our nation. They are the ones that protect us from these kind of heinous crimes. So when they are attacked and killed, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an affront on us as a people, as Nigerians. What are your thoughts on this? You can call us on 81 641679 090 Tweet towards our TV to connect using the hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. When you heard the stories, what came to mind? Let me start with you, Nima. When I heard the story, I thought, what audacity. But then... before, I, before I let you go, let me take the video. Let us watch this package very quickly so that we can get a better context. The 14th of March killing of 15 military personnel who were on peacekeeping mission over the crisis between Okoloba community in Bomadi local government area and Okuoma in Ugile South of Delta State has attracted condemnation as the military continues to search for the perpetrators. The king of Iwu Kingdom, where Okuoma community is part, has condemned the art by the youths. It is a very sad news what has happened. Um, first of all, I would like to state clearly that when this whole crisis thing started between uh, my community, Okwama, and the Ejo community, uh, Okoloba, uh, I was in the UK at the time, at some point um, early this year, I believe. Uh, but I contacted the government regarding the crisis and the information they gave to me was that the government had invited both parties to resolve the issue and that in fact it had been resolved. The trouble between the two neighbors is not clear but last December the people of Okoloba community alleged that their neighboring Okwama community had invaded and attacked their farmlands, fishing grounds and indigenous on several occasions. The traditional ruler who is still in shock about what happened condemns the arts. These military men, they are people who are there to protect our nation. They should be they should be held in high esteem. They are there to protect us from people who are there to invade and or to commit heinous crimes. It is very sad that these same people who are there to protect us, who are, who are one of us, that this kind of heinous crime will be carried out and they will be killed in the process. It is very, very sad. It is report that we have um, from, the, um, from the report, uh, just to give mm -hmm. you an, a context of what's going on. What are your thoughts uh, when you heard the story? So I thought, what, what audacity and what an ingratitude to the Nigerian army. I had um, a family friend who was on relief mission. He had been posted immediately to join the army to Boma, somewhere in Borneo State. He didn't die there. He spent seven years there. But the moment he was posted to the riverine areas in the south, he was drowned, mm -hmm. and he wasn't a um, swimmer. He had a, a vest, and they were on the rescue mission like this. Mm -hmm. And he just drowning was what was explained. And then young guy, he had not even had kids. So the mom is grieving. And to hear again that Nigerian army on peacekeeping mission can come to an area and the youth, because they said the community youth can be head, you know, an officer of the Nigerian army mm. in this country, when the army should, is supposed to be defending us against external attacks, 
we are attacking them in, within the country for a peacekeeping mission. I don't get it. But I, it will not be the first. I will not act shocked that you know, this, has hap uh, this is the first time, at least maybe for the Nigerian army. But the NDLEA cannot take a, 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 a mission to any of the farms of these drug peddlers in Delta State. It's those kind of audacity, those kind of high-handedness should stop immediately. If it is air and land and see surveillance that should end it, it should be immediate. I was having a conversation with my husband. I was like, oh, why are you so angry about it? Because it is enough that we do, we deal with terrorists. It is enough, but when two communities, this is not that just does it make sense. Yeah. I don't know what the youth consumed, but whatever they did consume, the consequence should be as grievous as what they did. Yeah. Mm. Um, so for me, you know, it, it really touched me because as you know, I have a special affinity for our military. I, kn I believe that, you know, they give, their, they give up everything to serve mm -hmm. us. These are people that the moment they join the military, they understand that it may require their lives and they are willing to give that up for the protection of Nigerians. And you would expect, you know, uh, a certain love Reverence, and yeah. loyalty towards them. And then for them to be treated this way, doing something to protect the community. You know, and that's why for me, I, I, I also a part of me, I don't want to believe that these were just regular youths that did this. Could there have been some mercenaries, you know, hiding under the, the, the name of youth to carry out such a heinous crime? I, um, I just hope that, you know, that they are fished out, these particular youth that did this, and they are brought to book. But there's a second part of this story that has further broken my heart, which is that these communities have now been set on fire, and they are claiming they are unknown soldiers. Now... Two wrongs don't make a right. I understand the grievousness of what has happened in the first place where the military officers were killed. But by also now raising these communities, what, what you have created are enemies out of innocent lives. You know, there are people who are part of those communities who may not have known anything about these killings, may not have been part of it, have military officers as children or family members, you know. So to now put all this community and set them ablaze, that is, is so wrong. You would just compound the issue. What I would have expected was proper, serious investigation to find out those who did this. And that would send a, more, a clearer message than just setting up, uh, setting up a community. Although, yes, we still do not have who these unknown soldiers were. But I just hope it is not our military officers that did this because we have just further made this um, situation worse. Mm. Sometimes, some yes. people, I'll come to you, um, uh, Amaka, because yes. some will say some of these communities can be complicit. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not, it's not, it doesn't, mm. doesn't give them, yeah, you're right, mm. we should also put innocent lives, um, uh, we shouldn't put them at risk. Yeah. However, sometimes, Communities are all complicit. They know of these people. And and what are your what? thoughts? Let me come to you, Amaka, when, okay. you, when you heard the story. So firstly, I sincerely condole with the families of the slain soldiers, yeah. right? Um, you, you, the soldiers in Nigeria, the military, they are here to protect the nation. Mm -hmm. They will protect the military. They're human beings, in respect exactly. of the fact that they have trainings, and then we, we feel that they are superheroes and they have superpowers. Yeah. But then we've seen now that they don't have superpowers. And they can be slain. And it's not as if they went to war. They went on a peaceful yeah. mission to settle people that are fighting or they're having issues. Yeah. And this barbaric and despicable act happened on, that, on their watch. So you, you, let's not, you, as in, what, like what she said, what Miriam said, that two wrongs don't make it right, okay? But then you don't, um, they said they're unknown soldiers. But let's not also push people, you know, human nature, push people to now begin to, um, to, to have a high-handed way, attitude out of fear in order to protect themselves. Because with the, what has happened now, if you send um, soldiers now into another community or whatever, their attitude going, moving into that community is going to be different because they, they're moving with fear. Mm. This something might happen, we might be beheaded, we might be attacked. So you find out that the, the, the mood, the, the, the motivation, the motivation will, yeah. will be different, right. okay? So this is really sad, and, I, and like um, Tilibu has said, the president has said that all investigation has given them the absolute power to investigate the issue and let the people be brought to. But because the community members, they know the bad boys, they know the bad people, they know the, 
the, the groups, the, yeah. the bad groups. But you see, you can't really win a war against terror if the people mm. who are affected are not willing to... to exactly. There, there has to be a handshake yeah. between government and the people. Because exactly. if it, it's, 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 I also remember when the um, U.S. sent um, um, I mean, to Iraq, and you know, you, there's only so much you can bring as an invasion. Exactly. The people on ground must be willing to say, you, 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 you are involved. You are the ones who are doing this. And they must be willing to work with government because there's only, all soldiers can do is blow up. Yes. But really, what we, don't, what we rather soldiers do is engage the community who are willing to be engaged. This is what they did. To now, on a peacekeeping mission, they didn't blow up. They didn't yes. blow up. They went into the community to try to get to the bottom of an issue. And they were blown up. And let me report to you how the bodies were found. Said so at the NDDC jetty at the Coastal Delta community, the bodies of the commanding officer and two and the two killed majors were seen floating by the riverbank mm. as others were separated on land. They found other bodies on land. Mm. Now, some of the corpses recovered were seen to have been beheaded while their stomachs and hearts of others were ripped off. Mm. Whoa, don't tell me anything. If I was the president, I would level that place. I went to military school. I had a classmate in JS2 whose school stopped the moment the father died on a peacekeeping mission. Mm. I met her recently and she felt too detached mm. because she didn't finish school. Mm. 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 Do you know how many lives end in the barracks because of these kind of things? Yeah. Don't tell, see, those communities will never, mm. never, no matter how this investigation go, point to their sons yes, and, say, and daughters who are the youth mm. who did this mm. and say, this is the person, carry and go. Yeah. That's how they did to the NDLE officers who went to a particular village in Delta State on, on, uh, on a drug uh, uh, so investigation big, so issue. Big, yeah. They did not let one out of the 12 step out, 12 or 6 of them. They did not let one of, of the officers go out alive. Leave. Every single one was killed. killed. This kind of audacity must stop. It must be, the consequence must be as grievous yes. as, as what, what has they happened. did. Exactly. So even this king that was talking in the video, he went to London, Okabo, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, he must name names. Or you, you know, there will be consequences to his throne as well. So because the, 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 the issue, the consequences are even higher. Because mm -hmm. we don't, we're trying to get Nigerians to believe in the military. We still, we're still healing from the, the answer. We're, we're, we're still healing from mm -hmm. the role of the military, military in yeah. our entire democracy. Exactly. Even while this president is, 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 in, is on his, on his stool, uh, people are saying, ah, would there be a coup here? Because, be coups, mm -hmm. because we're still trying to understand the integrity of the military. Mm -hmm. So when this happens, it sends a strong message that the nation is in, 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 unable to defend itself exactly. and the reaction therefore must show mm -hmm. capacity we are, we on the hand to show exactly. that we can actually exactly. defend this nation yes so exactly. the, but in, in doing that we must also remember innocent lives you know, if you are innocent and your community has beheaded military even if you did not see you should come out you, yeah, you leave the community immediately because you know you should know that the consequence will be big mm -hmm. it is in history that nobody they kill soldier there will be consequences. It's not even in Nigeria. It's not the first time. If you have the, you have the liver to kill a soldier, your, your, your child or cousin or brother has the liver to do this, you will be in relative, supposed to don't run. If you remain okay. there, let me come to you, Amaka. You're going to say something. Yes, I want to say that if um, for people that are the innocent lives that are affected on and will still be affected yes. by this, then you should man up and then point fingers. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Very so if, if by raising the community, community down, they start, um, people, the, uh, little children or women get caught up in this whole, in this madness, what happens? So, you, so you, you, if, if, you're, if you're the mother or the father, you're not going to point fingers, you're not going to call out the perpetrators of this wicked and hideous crime. Mm. This is terrible. Something has to be done. Somebody's so, father. So I have a call. I'll come to you, Mary, in a second. Okay. Good morning. Thanks for calling. Hello. Good morning. Yes. I am calling from Agbado, Jaya. This is my fourth caller. Welcome to the show. First time <laughs> caller. Yeah. Yes. I'm very, uh, first of all, I want to talk about this issue of this army. This, uh, the, the issue of this army people, our this, uh, what are you calling me? It's totally, totally wrong. Let's say the truth to ourselves. Army, they're protecting us. You are seeing, there's a, there's, a, there's a problem in Boko Haram bandits. If these people send them there to a rescue us and they send these people to go to, to this data or whatever, whatever we're calling them, and they are killing them. It's totally wrong. It's totally wrong. It's, it's a nonsense. And this was so lucky. Even the, the, the former president of Abatoto is, is on the show. I know what is happen in, in that place. Abatoto will send the army to level that place. This is what happened in this country. Look at the country is this. Mario. I, I support Lima. 
I was watching your brother for over 10 years now, all of your fans. I, I see the way you know I was talking about. Maybe that's what was doing like that. Let this was our face. Think of a country, think of uh, two people in, in, in these people. Thank you very much, Biodo. Go ahead, ma'am. Yeah, I understand the anger. I understand the emotions. But also, I understand being an innocent person caught up in between, you know, mm. this sort of fight. And I hate for any one of us to be an innocent victim in something that has nothing to do with us. And I'm speaking yeah. for those people. Yeah. Mm. I'm saying that I understand that it's unfair, it's not right to be head and dismember military officers <laughs> for doing the right thing. I yeah. get it. But I also know that there will be people in those communities who had no, had no hand in what has happened. And um, these response usually that we see is not this is a big one but we've even seen it in smaller cases and we have called the military out in those instances why then are we not calling them out in this particular um, instance so we've heard of situations where a police officer fights a military officer before you know military officers will come and beat up police officers or yeah. say you know these are things that we've always called call them out on and say there has to be a better way of dealing with things like this we are a country we are not a jungle a, a serious crime has been committed, no doubt about it. But because we're a country, and because every life is important, the lives of the military that we're taking and the lives of innocent people in those communities are just as important. That is why we have to follow due process. I, be, I agree that if someone kills a soldier, everything has to be done to fish them out. But not by leveling communities, not by destroying lives and property even further. What you do is now create even new enemies. So you have a group of enemies. You now level the whole place. You now create enemies. Mm. Children who, the story that they have is, we're sitting down quietly in our homes and the community came and destroyed our land. Came and destroyed our livelihood. Yeah. And that is the story that they will carry on. That is not what the military wants. I understand the military wants to send a warning that you dare not touch a military officer. I get that, but they have to find a different way of doing that. Right. So we don't compound the issues, mm. and that is what I see here. Let me take this call and I'll come to you, Akwanka. Good morning. Thanks for calling your live. Good morning. Yeah, uh, I have a different opinion. Uh, God will bless you. Allah will bless you. You will go to Macaray, so we will support you from UK. You have spoken everything I wanted to speak. Ah, uh, very uh, Please, can you down tone? Cool down, cool down. What is property? When life is lost, those soldiers have children, they have wives. I want the army to level the two communities and build army barracks in that place and army school for their children or their own family. So, what is property? Stop saying property. When life is lost, what's property? Eh? They kill our soldier. It's a disgrace. We are saying it in UK, it's a disgrace to, 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 to our country. Who are they? And they kill our soldiers just like a like teaching. If we lose our soldier, then you too, you are not safe. If all we die, they will slow to kill you. So Elijah, please, Allah will bless you, like I said. Yeah, it's always good to see different all circles of the story. Let me come to Yamaka before I begin my Okay, so irrespective, irrespective of the fact that I'm really upset about this, right? But then I'm a lawyer, and then we also <laughs> need to, regardless of, like she said, Miriam said, like, um, it, um, a crime has been committed. No matter how hideous that crime is, due process still has to be followed. And um, for the fact that the president has given full support, that an investigation should be carried out, and these people fished out, um, the law says that innocent until proven guilty. So we don't even know if this is a sabotage from people from other communities. For mm. to you understand? Because mm. there's a war going on here. Anything can happen. You know, as a lawyer too, you know yeah. that people frame people up. Yeah. Communities can frame communities up. Anything yeah. can happen, yeah. right? Okay. So um, before taking actions, I know we're all upset about this yeah. serious crime. But let's give them time to investigate. Let me say you know, you know well, I'll come to you. Minute, minute. One, sec, one second. There was an uncle I was going to take, but I saw I have a, a caller. Elijah from uh, Ikotun, thanks for calling your life. Oh, Elijah Babatunde. Yes, thank Go you. Go ahead, very please. Much. Yes, first time caller. But, uh, Welcome to the show. Time, yes, long time uh, uh, lawyer. Uh, um, for the first time, I um, disagree with Miriam, my number one uh, Utubuto. Today, for the first time, I disagree with her. And I um, agree totally with Nima. See, it is easy 
when they are carrying a dead body, I go, you say, oh, see what happens in the car. But when that person is your relation, you say, oh, so so person is being carried. There's need for all of us to have one voice and condemn this thing that is just unimaginable. You see, I have a friend, childhood friend, who had been private school, secondary school, state university. This guy went to the University of Lagos, one of the best guys, and joined police. He was the area commander for Jebo Day. Omoloju. This guy was killed where there was a communal clash, and then he went there, you know, to make peace. This guy was killed by the youth in the area and set a blade. In Jebo Mushi here, in Ogu State, here, an assistant commissioner of police was killed just like that. If I am the chief of family staff today, by the special grace of God, those communities. Thank you, Elijah Watsune. So I, I, I get that, you know, because I, I've always said something that where we are as a nation, you know, it's not the same way the, the entire world is as a nation. Um, this happened, many of us know, the, the World War II, uh, when U.S. Dropped, dropped, they dropped an atomic, atomic bomb mm. in, is in uh, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Nagasaki mm. where everybody was blaming them because mostly people were killed were children and civilians, mm. not even the enemies they were trying to achieve. Mm. So there's a, there's a time where when you do that collateral damage, people don't care what is, who, who are those who are um, affected. As the, the point U.S. was trying to make at the time was that you cannot be, a, you, you cannot, you, you cannot, you, you, you have, they, have, they have to let Japan know Mm. where they are as the world as the as the world leader at the time so i get the 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 the, the point the statements of saying will blow up the entire place mm. however we are not in 1945 mm -mm. during world war ii we're in 2024 where we also must consider mm. human rights mm. we are also why not we're also, we must also consider what we are saying is that no nobody should exist that community whatever business those people are disguising under should end raise it down let nobody stay there. If you know your life is important, you have to leave. You should have left already. Mm -mm. Then they end that. Mm -hmm. there's no, there should be no Okwama that will be on record to have killed 12 soldiers or 16 soldiers. That's mm. the point. Nobody's saying you know some people should all be killed. Wipe it out. Because what you don't want to hear is that the van, these youths are vandals who, who are in the business of stealing our commonwealth as well. They are probably protecting some bigger criminals somewhere. And doing this and saying, oh, a Nigerian army has come, will make it impossible for them to come. As they have made it impossible for uh, NDLE officials to stop drug farming in those communities, in some communities in Delta. In fact, the president should just declare a state of emergency. Let the governor go on a break and let the military take over the state. Maybe we will see better. Because yeah, I don't get I have, it. Yeah, I have, That's that even be better. better. That would have been much better. Yes, let's a state, state of emergency, emergency in those communities and the and military presence the fully in those house. I can't hear yeah, a military fully in those communities, mm -hmm. yeah, making me... sure that you know they are investigating as they are in those communities. Yes. I do support the raising of whole community. I do not. Let me take this call. I, I do not because they have been. In, I'm so sorry. Okay. This call has to hold on a bit. <laughs> if you have been in situations where yes. there have been clashes between communities and you are an innocent victim, and see, you would not ask for this sort of um, one blanket um, violence mm. against people. Mm. Because there are some people that do not deserve it. Mm. There are some people who, their family members are part of this military. They have made sacrifices for Nigeria as well, but they are caught up in these communities and everything is gone. For, those, for the sake of those people, what does it mean to be? I mean, what's the reward for being an innocent person? For being, for being an innocent, innocent for being person complicit. in a community that you find yourself. For being complicit. Many things will happen, even in, at country level, where another country will come and raise uh, another country, yeah. and you find that there are innocent people within the country. For that is what we are speaking against. Complicit. We have to find a different way to so. send a message to people about respecting the military. What if it's ineffective? Without, I apologize. We have to find it. Okay. Family, well, I'll have to mention wait, his name. Wait, wait, wait. I'll have to mention his well, name. Mm. Bayo joined the army very young. Younger, he, he wasn't even 40. And he was drowned. And it wasn't this magnanimous, uh, magnitude of a uh, crime. And so other soldiers left, were, were saved, and he was left like that. But come and see his family today. So when we talk about this thing, people live in those communities who will say, now only one person, they're kin now. They, you cannot... You cannot um, allow Excuse. this no. under your watch. Vandalism thrives under some people's watch. Some people make money and say, okay, the money, they, now I'm, come on, so my picking bring down. You know, when we excuse this kind of things, 
there will be no fear. They've, what they have done now is put fear in the hearts of uh, uh, military officers. They motivate them. Yeah. They will be afraid. They will think twice next time when they are posted there. Some will now call, question their uh, bosses for even posting them. Okay, let me, the, let me take a refer. Come to America. Good morning, Real Fair. Thanks for calling your live. Thank you, Mariah. And good morning, ladies. This is my first time of calling. Welcome to the um, I have this to say, um, Nima, you have to take things easy. Okay, let's just look at this, you know, what happened last year. I think last year, last year. When the military basically bombed the village. Do Nigerians bomb or kill the military, like all the military in Nigeria? Do we uh, um, burn all the barracks? No. See, there are bad eggs. There are bad eggs in that community. Fine. It's not, it's not like when everything, everything is being raised down. No, that's not done. That's not done. Have you forgotten about the Niger Delta religion? No, see, I'm not trying to escalate anything. I'm trying to bring that bad, bad, bad thing that happened in part of this country. No, but I think you're talking about raising down a village, nothing should exist there. You should be talking. No, that's not the that, that, that's not the solution. No, no, everybody makes mistakes, and we know and we know the country where we are. The, the military at times, yeah, they do things to the extent like every time these ladies, okay, fine, the case is still in court. Who are the owners here that raised down the village? Do we think that the dead will bring back the village alive or raising that village completely? No, that doesn't make sense. You know, to me, to me. I have to go on a, to go on a short break, Orefe. I'll come to you, Maka, after the break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Yeah.